of your past fondness for the German varietals, but I can wholeheartedly endorse the new breed of Austrians. Glock 34 and 26. Alright then, hello and welcome to the guide for General Plague, the deck building compilation. Right now I'm currently on the profile for the non-modded, no attributions version of the game. So, might as well tell you guys how to build a decent deck. But in order to start with, how I recommend going through Urban Plague. I recommend going through the left side first to get to the Kurokomo clan and make sure you beat these guys because this is the best keep agent in this tier. From there, Dawn Office to pick up the one page you need, which is going to be one of your main draw pages. Then go up to the Musicians of Bremen, take care of these guys since they have some of the best star of the game passives in the game. Full stop office you can do as well and make a nice little cleanup floor with them. Wedge office, more piercing, more piercing stuff and the second best page in the game, in my opinion. Gaze office uh, has some nice passives to it as well as some very useful pages. Love town is it's Love town. Come on now, it has only two pages and both of them are rather good. And Carnival, I might as well include that. They have the best four cost page, one of the best four costs that you can use with minimal investment as well as the best passive moving forward for sacrificing one person. But yeah, left side first, then work your way right with being Wedge Office or Love Town being your final one for the receptions. You also have three general invitations. First one being Rusted Chains. I don't rate these guys too highly. Second is the Workshop Affiliated Fixer. These guys are very good. They have one of the best passives in the game if you're able to keep everyone alive. And third is Hanafuda's Office, which is basically a discard page, which is really good because even the base fixture has bottom deal which is a free draw card while she has the best passives which you should attribute Sayo she is one of the best characters in the game and one of the best attributions so what are you getting two speed dice battle ready so you got pod greed on legs plus one slash damage and razor strike those four are rather good and I think you should rush towards them as soon as possible. And the other great page, Oscar, because he's plus one to wedge and unrelenting is rather good on him. There's going to be two types of decks, one of which that is used on a specific floor or really enjoys being on a specific floor. The other can be used anywhere. It's a general reception. You can use them on any of your four floors. Well, five. Let's go over. Uh, might as well hype up Sayo, but she has three base pages, so you can do a couple different builds. So I'm going to start off with Malkuth, because Malkuth has Happy Memories, which is the best. Well, it's a very good page to start learning how you do specific builds on. So basically, for Happy Memories, you want a high cost page. And then you can decrease it over time so it becomes free eventually. The only problem with it is there isn't a long enough reception to where you go down to zero early on, but in Urban Nightmare you'll have enough time to get it down to zero. But even then, a two cost reduction is still great. It does reset when going on to the next floor though, so you gotta be a little caref careful of that. So, Sayo, best character for it. So you have a couple of options, one of which is the page you get from her office, Inkover. It's the game plus one power for each page in hand. She starts off with six cards in hand, and after the first turn, you should be able to draw two to three more cards, and then on turn four, and if you do everything right, you can start decreasing the cost of ink over while keeping your hand size rather big. And from there, you keep spamming it and keep spamming it. And once she, it goes down to zero, you can start playing your draw cards. 
rather good. Um, there's a couple of other ways to build it. You could also go the observe package, which I think I'm going to gain plus three strength per scene. Eventually this turns into a zero cost card where you get plus six strength a turn because you're going to be playing two observes and then all this just to keep your hand size rather big so I can keep drawing into them and keep getting keep maintaining the six power. One copy of Stay Calm just because that is the best page with three attacks in it and personally I really recommend it. It's a really good page for dealing damage. Plus six on all this is eight to ten. That is rather good and plus solidarity which is what you should have on her. I don't have it on her for here because I ran out of space but solidarity being a plus one power plus it's all slap plus one power and a little bit of slash power from here rather good I rather enjoy it and was a rather unique thing I found from it if you don't like Sayo too much you don't want to do slashing or blunt for that matter you can also use Oscar from Malkuth in which you have tailoring which you can get from the carnival so you get a lot of damage from it a 6 to 10 for usually about 2 cost or even 0 is rather good barking spear for draw plus 2 rules of the black streets should be enough for you to go through your entire deck and get this card back into your hand with a little bit of light recovery and a lead block die from cooking prep in case someone has transpires or a very damaging attack you can block it this deck doesn't have too much defense in the way it's pure offensive passives solidarity and I know it's a 8 out of 8 this is for going into urban nightmare but if you do do a 6 out of 8 6 out of 6 because you're still doing urban plague use solidarity and keeping in stride you can't really go wrong with that at the top of that you also have deep wound and open wound just to increase the amount of bleed you deal and deal a little bit more damage it's not too bad overall I much prefer Sayo for it and if you want to replace sync over for tailoring you are more than welcome to up next the gun build I know not too many people are a huge fan of guns this is the best way to farm pages in the game or, or clean up receptions for that matter. These guys are really good. Three take the shot, three target spotted, and three indiscriminate shot with the passives of speed so you can get two costs on it. Meow meow for more damage, improved drumming to put on more fragile. Oink oink, feeble at the start, rather good. And paralysis just to make the enemies on the first round rather weak. You're using four of these guys just so you can kill off a couple targets. Any reception with multiple acts, these guys will keep reprocking their passives and deal a lot of damage. Your main goal is to kill off two of the four or five people. And from there you just proceed, you focus fire one person down and try and kill them as quickly as possible. Because after four to five turns, all these pages are gone and you're pretty much sitting there doing nothing you lost the reception afterwards. So these guys are mainly used as a cleanup floor or a quick farm. In case you don't want to do that, you can also use the pages for support. This is what I would use for, if I wanted one person, one gun person on the team, there's nothing wrong with it. I know some people don't like guns early on and Wedge Office does not wedge, full stop office isn't the best source of guns. There's a lot better gun pages later on. But this person is here to clean up. That's all they're here to do. If you need to kill someone quickly or stagger them quickly, these guys will go first. Just don't clash with them. Just throw off an indiscriminate shot and hope it's... And if they're low enough on stagger, you'll stagger them and you don't have to worry about the dice from them. Really nice for it. I do recommend people doing it. Passes I have used, speed, if anything doesn't have speed, just put a speed dice on. And when you get ready for Urban Nightmare, I put on a wedge office. Really good pass. So really good since most of her attacks will be pierce attacks. So plus one, rather good. Now, not too many people use Lee Wise page, but he is the first person 
in the game to use range and melee attacks. And since all of his attacks, all of his range attacks will exhaust, all of his melee attacks won't. So what you can do is load up three take the shots and three indiscriminate shots. Empty these three first because you'll get the deck size down to three pages. And then you run Rules of the Backstreets or Flash of Sun up, your choice. One cleanup and one Wrath of Torment. And from there you're just going to cycle these three cards for the remainder of the act. And if you have four emotion points, you should have enough to where you're cycling. You can use this about three or four times before you start having light problems. And it, or you get low on HP. One of the two. But the receptions early on are going to be rather fast. So you, this should be done. You shouldn't have to worry about it. Later on in the re later on in higher difficulties, this isn't too good. But it's rather nice to get a small hand size. So you can keep cycling all this quick. They're all general use. You can use them on pretty much any floor. Esod is a bit better for them because they have metallic ringing available. Hod. So with the Page of Sayo, she really likes being on this floor. You have Look of the Day, plus two power for anything, basically. As well as Glitter, Obsession. Well, Glitter just focuses everyone on one thing and you gain more power for attacking them. Obsession, a lot of Kurokomo clan loves dealing bleed damage. Doubles the bleed damage, nothing wrong with it. Unless you're facing a bleed character, then they'll also do it, but you'll kill them faster. As well as Axe is available, so you can deal a lot more slashing damage. On top of that, you have Alertness, and overall, she's one of the best slashing floors at the moment. I, and if you saw my no attributions run, I used her pretty much as soon as I got Kurokoma Clan, and I took out pretty much everyone else. This is Hod's floor, Hod's favorite time to, sh Hod's floor time to shine. She does really well here. I recommend more people trying it out. She also gets four people rather early on through this route because after you do Dawn Office, she'll get her Spider Buds and she'll get four people. Being these two, you need in order to get her abnormality page out. I really recommend this. One Rules of the Backstreets. One want a taste of this chain. Two flash of sun ups, so you can use three as well. One cleanup, three sharpened blades, and one unforgettable melody. You're just mainly focusing on slashing. You want to get one slash sharpened blade into hand, and then use the flash of sun up or another attack in order to deal as much slash damage as possible. Plus one from her dark cloud blade. Rather good. You can get up to 10 on average. Some other things with mood checks and axe, you can get up to 13 or 15 rather easily and rather consistently. One copy of Unforgettable Melody because plus two strength on everyone is rather nice. Passives I've run, Solidarity and Deep Wound for six and eight in going into Urban Nightmare or Open Wound and Twisted Wound since she does a lot of bleed. Well, she applies bleed damage, but that's not the focus of the build. Hands down, my favorite page of this reception, rather good. And if you want it, I'll leave a description for the Let's Play I did without attributions. And you can see how I des destroy pretty much everything with this deck. Deck's a little different though. I used um, Muscle and one more Flash of Sun up, but this works a bit better in my opinion. Uh, alteration to it in case you want to do a bit more burning because I know some some people like burning a lot one one taste of chain three flash of sun ups one cleanup three searing swords and one crack of dawn this is just mainly it's a burn burning slash floor rather good I much prefer searing sword compared to sunset blade just because your rolls are a whole whole lot better compared to sunset blade you can probably also put in one to two sharpen blades if you really want to just to improve your rolls and then you can throw in a, a sunset blade and that'll be your payoff card. I haven't used it too much since I find the slashing build a lot better. It still should work. With it, solidarity and one deep breath and that 
and when you go into Urban Nightmare Stigma Workshop, you can also take off Solidarity and probably just make her a better deep make her a debuffer with A lock pages or anything from Musicians of Bremen. Now Salvador, I usually play him a lot more defensive. You can make him a lot more offensive if you want, but he's pretty much good on any floor. All three of these are good on any floor, but Salvador does like being on Malkiths a bit more. So for Salvador, I go a bit more defensive, and instead of, and this is similar to an ink over build. So I use one loosen up, two rules of backstreets, two cleanups for light recovery. We'll make fine silk because it adds a fascinating fabric, which is a really strong defensive page. But you can you put it into your hand and it'll improve your final dice. So that's a plus eight to a plus 10 with a full hand. Uh, with We'll Make Fine Silk, do your draw pages first and then play it if possible just to increase the power of the final dice by a whole lot. As well as two feather shields just for burning. I include one pass, one defensive die bonus, concentration because there wasn't a whole lot going around, so might as well. And just two support passives. The reason why you want to put burn on people is because of light daybreak. On a successful hit, he'll deal even more, more sta stagger damage. And with feather shield, you'll be applying burn to him. So that will proc it. Not the defensive dice, you'll be dealing stagger damage through the block dice. And then with the final 2 to 4 hit, that will deal increased stagger damage. On top of that, he has Digma Workshop Weaponry, which will also apply to her, apply to Clash the Burning on Clash Win. So instead of the two burn, it'll be a three burn. If you want to include a bit more burn into it, you can include Butterfly Slash, Set Fire, or even Crack of Dawn. But I try and keep it a bit more lower end just because the Fascinating Fabric is a three cost page in case you need it. Rather good defensive page. If you want it to be even more defensive, so Cumulus, Cumulus Wall is rather nice because it has two good block dice. And you could include Shuffling Hands if you really need, want a bit more draw with a lead block dice. He does a lot better on Malkus floor though, just because he can get access to a lot more burning through Ashes or Matchlight. Now, Netsack. The main person most people associate with Pierce, I'll, there's a lot of good Pierce pages out there, people, but. Netzak is the first one with the Pierce stuff. Pages I do recommend, you can also use Salvador for this, but I prefer a Workshop Affiliated page just because of the Slash weakness and the Blunt Stagger. Blunt Stagger is probably the worst thing here. The Slash weakness won't be affected too much since the first receptions on Urban Nightmare don't have too much slashing. They're mostly Pierce and Blunt. So you can use this guy rather good. On top of that, he comes with Solidarity, which I would much rather attribute a speed page. One weight up, one high speed stabbing, two bend weapons, three spark sparking spears, one collision, and one refine. Same as the Sayo page, just a bit worse in my opinion. You're just trying to improve your Pierce values to a ridiculous level with men weapon weight up, and Collision being your light recovery, and your spark Sparking Spears being your draw. A little awkward to play just because of the Sparking Spears being your draw since you don't have too much light until later on in the reception. Once you get enough light, you can start off with two, and then you can start playing your cheaper cost cards. That's why I wait up in high speed stabbing yarn in here in case you need to play something cheap. If you want, you can also take out Refine and you can throw in Transpierce, Transpierce, or another Collision. Both of these are really good. On top of that, you can get three of these guys on NetSax page. I really recommend it. And then just put Oscar here as your big finisher. You can include Sayo as well and let NetSax healing and staggered resistance get you through the whole fight. Olga, she's still good, but she needs a lot of help now through attributions. So here's my Olga page, one loosen up, one rules of the backstreets, two gamble, three stay calms, and two daring decisions. 
Basically, you want a daring decision and rules of backstreet sort of loosen up in your starting hand. So what you're doing, and as many state columns as possible, you're using state column as your engine, and you want to try and keep discarding these as soon as possible. The only problem with this deck though, is you have a bit more gas with it through the rules of the backstreet and a bit of light recovery with loosen up, but since they're zero cost, you will discard them through gambles. So try and use these pages as soon as possible, and then use the rest trying to keep trying to continue drawing through stay calm. Eventually you will run out of deck run out of gas with this deck. And with that, and even with bomb deal stacking the deck in times like these and best choice, you can keep going a bit longer with it, but you will run out eventually. You don't have enough draw in the deck to sustain it for super long periods of time. And if you don't have a stay calm and you, and you can't draw more, you're kind of in trouble. And you gotta hope you, your other teammates can survive until then. In case you don't want to use a workshop page and you want to use more pierce pages, here's another version of the deck with three spark, sparking spears, unforgettable melody, two collisions, two men weapons, and one weight up. Now that Olga is your main discarder, in case you want other people to use discard, I recommend using a Jiyang's office fixer page with speed in times like these and best choice. And you're basically doing the same thing with loosen up, gamble, stay calm, shuffle hand. I use shuffle hands so you can get a draw on top of it and proc the passive in case you need it, as well as two daring decisions. Uh, one thing to note with shuffle hands is you do need to have a card in hand. So if you have nothing, you won't get the draw. So just be a little careful with that. You can also just copy over Olga's page and just in throw, include uh, Rules of the Backstreets instead. That is a fine option as well. But overall, these are the decks you can use. And floors you... Actually, I should talk about Discard. Discard is rather good on Roland's floor because they have a lot of attack dice. But Roland can use pretty much any deck he wants and get away with it. And Malkuth, if you're doing the Teddy Bear build, which I believe you really should do, uh, you'll get a massive power boost through here. You got a unique page here that really makes the Happy Memories strategy very strong. So take what you want from there and upgrade it, and upgrade it from here.